Welcome to Xinhua Live. I'm Sun Fan Yue with Xinhua News Agency. Now I'm at the final assembly line Asia facility of the European aircraft manufacturer Airbus in North China's Tianjin municipality. The first A321 aircraft assembled in Tianjin is screwed up for delivery soon. Look at the giant behind me. It is currently one of the most popular and the best selling aircraft in the Airbus A320 family in the global market. Today, I have invited Marketing Director of Airbus China, Song Xiaonan, to join us. Let's welcome. Hello. Welcome. welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, uh, actually, we know that uh, Airbus has announced uh, the assembly of uh, A321 aircraft uh, last November. Yeah. So what that means, uh, what's the first uh, A321 aircraft means for China and the Airbus? And how many orders do we have now? Well, actually, the delivery of the first uh, Airbus A321 aircraft assembled in Tianjin uh, reflects uh, the potential for the future investment and the cooperation between China and Europe. So actually, it also shows that the aviation manufacturing and the air transport industry has already highly globalized. So actually, we should further expand the bilateral and the multilateral economic and the technological cooperations. And I think this will be one of the major trends in the global aviation industry. And the delivery as a milestone also enables Airbus to honor the popularity of the A321 aircraft in the Chinese market and express our thanks for the consistent trust and the support from our customer. So Airbus will continue to expand and enhance our comprehensive cooperation with the Chinese aviation industry and uh, will underlining our long-term commitment to China. Okay, yes, it's a really milestone for Airbus and China, and it means a lot for the global and uh, uh, supply chains, uh, local supply chains as well. Uh, to let our audience know more about the A321 aircraft, mm -hmm. could you give us a brief introduction? Uh, what's special of this uh, A321 aircraft? Uh, actually, A321 Neo as the longest member of our Airbus best-selling single aisle A320 family, comfortable seating as many as 244 passengers in a high-density configuration, with the longest range reaching 8,700 kilometers, featuring the wider single aisle cabin in the sky. A320 Neo family offers a 20% reduction in the fuel consumption and the CO2 emission, as well as a 50% noise reduction uh, compared to the previous generation of aircraft, uh, thanks to incorporating the latest uh, technologies, including the new generation of engine and the shocklets. By the end of January 2023, the A320 Neo family has received over 8,600 firm orders from more than 130 customers worldwide. So this particular aircraft is ready to be delivered to our owner's customer, Junyao Air. I noticed you have mentioned the uh, energy conservation of this uh, H321 aircraft. Uh, and uh, China's uh, civil aviation industry seeks uh, low carbon and uh, green develop development uh, during the 14th uh, uh, five-year plan during the 2021 to 2025. Mm -hmm. So uh, what has uh, Airbus done to meet these requirements uh, and to serve customers in a more energy efficient and uh, environmentally friendly way? Well, Airbus is proud to support the ongoing decarbonization of uh, China's aviation industry while continuing pioneer sustainable aerospace for the safe and united world. So apart from the energy-saving aircraft I just uh, mentioned, Airbus is also facilitating the use of SAF, sustainable aviation fuel in China. So SAF refers to the sustainably produced aviation fuel, which is made from the biomass feedstocks, resulting in an up to 80% reduction in CO2 emission across the entire SAF life cycle compared to the fissile jet fuel. So it is considered as a key enabler to contribute to the decarbonization of aviation. So all Airbus aircraft are currently certified to fly with an up to 50% blend of stuff mixed with kerosene. Since, uh, since October 2022, 
Airbus Delivery Center in Tianjin has offered customers the option of a 5 to 10 percent sub-fuel blend for all single aisle A320 Neo family and A350 wide-body aircraft delivery flights. So during last year's Air Show China in Zhuhai, Airbus has signed agreements with Xiamen Airlines, Zhejiang Long Airlines, and the Colorful Guizhou Airlines to promote the use of SAF for commercial flights in China. Airbus uh, aims to cooperate with our Chinese partners from the authorities, industries, and academies to develop the SAF ecosystem in support of the green aviation strategy proposed by China. Uh, thank you, Director Song. Um, after we are going to uh, the assembly line of uh, A321 aircraft, follow me and have a look. Here's the place to assemble A321 aircraft at the home of the Asia Final Assembly Line of Airbus, which was put into operation in 2008. Tianjin is now the world's only non-European city that could deliver both single aisle and wide-body Airbus aircraft. Meanwhile, Tianjin is also the third A320 family assembly set for Airbus globally, following France, Toulouse, and Germany's Hamburg. Here I'm going to invite Florin to tell us more about the uh, A321 aircraft. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the Airbus final assembly line here in Tianjin. This assembly line is the first assembly line Airbus built to assemble single rail aircraft outside of Europe. We established this line in 2008 in a close cooperation between the Chinese consortium compromising Tianjin Airport Economic Area Zone and the Tianjin Port Free Trade Administrative Committee, as well as the China Aviation Industry Corporation, AVIC. The first delivery we accomplished in 2009. Since then, the final assembly line Asia has delivered and produced more than 600 aircraft, and it become a role model for a successful Sino-European partnership. Previously, the file Asia could only assemble single rail aircraft 319, 318 and 320. But in August 2022, we launched the project to make this line capable to produce A321. And we started now in November the ramp up with the A321 project. And the product is implemented so far smoothly. Our tests are running well. And it shows really that Airbus Tianjin is also capable to quickly adapt to new products. So why did Airbus choose to assemble A321 aircraft in Tianjin? We are following here a strong and growing market demand. And that was the main reason why we decided to upgrade our industrial capability also in Tianjin to cater to the development of the global market and express also our strong support for the Chinese market. I guess one of the reasons for the popularity of the A321 aircraft is that there is a commonality between A318, A319, A320 and A321 because they have all the same cockpit and they have the same operating procedures. This helps because a pilot with a license for one type of the aircraft can also fly all the other types of the same family. The versatility of aircraft has increased the flexibility of the airline's management and operation and that helps them to improve the efficiency and for sure helps them to reduce business cost. Okay, so to meet the assembly requirements of the A321 aircraft, aircraft so what did we do? The FAL Asia in Tianjin 
we went through a major adaptation work to become ASV21 capable. And we needed, as we did this in 2022, we needed this in an environment where we needed to overcome a lot of challenges, just to mention the pandemic of COVID-19. We have renovated the factory, we have upgraded the facilities. Just for example, we refurbished the paint shop, but most of the work was really in an update on our jigs and tools to make these compatible with the ASV21, which is a little bit longer. In addition, as the final assembly work is more complex, because we have also more complex layout, we have carried out a lot of relevant training of our staff. So we even sent people to Europe to get trained on this new aircraft type. So such a big investment must be supported by the local government, right? Uh, especially amid with the COVID-19 pandemic. So did we meet some troubles uh, in transporting the, like the big parts and uh, how and what did the local government, how to support our company? Okay, um, you know, the Fai Tianjin is lo located close to the harbor in the bonded area of the free trade zone. So we maintain and we could establish a really good close collaboration model with the local authorities. I want mainly really to emphasize our collaboration with the Tianjin Customs. Especially in the COVID environment, it was crucial to have this collaboration and the support from the Tianjin Customs um, to cope with the relevant laws and regulations. They helped us a lot to facilitate the custom clearance approach of the various components, as you mentioned, our major components. They are all coming via the Tianjin Harbor, go through a customs clearance and they really helped us that we could welcome the parts in a lead time of maximum two days. This is very helpful as it helps us also to really optimize our inventory and to really establish a very lean flow of the production. Okay, so thank you, Florian. Thank you for your introduction of uh, H321 aircraft. You're very welcome. I hope you liked your visit at the final assembly line Asia in Tianjin. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Look at those uh, aircraft behind me, they are all assembled here. In recent years, Airbus has received large orders in China, and China remains Airbus' uh, uh, largest uh, single country market. China has been upgrading its uh, aviation supply chains with the cities in Tianjin, Chengdu, Xi'an, and Shenzhen. Today, I invited the uh, general manager of uh, Airbus Tianjin Delivery Center, Dr. Shrimp. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you think of, about uh, deep integration with the Airbus and China's uh, aviation market? The aviation industry is a global industry. We cooperate with our customers, the suppliers, partners, and other major stakeholders to set up an integral global ecosystem for the aviation industry. This industrial cooperation supports as well the development of technology innovation and engineering skills and it promotes our cooperation with suppliers and to also deeply integrate our supply chain in China and integrate Chinese suppliers into Airbus International and global supply chain. 
Uh, so uh, why are you so confident about uh, China's uh, aviation market and uh, why can we achieve such great uh, progress over the past uh, years? So first of all, we are confident about the Chinese market as we see an economic growth in the year 2023, along with encouraging policies. What we can recognize that also domestically, but also internationally, markets are growing and the demand for air traffic is increasing. That definitely unleashes a huge potential. Furthermore, considering China, we strongly believe in the continuous growth of the Chinese economy. And that nutrition for sure also the growth of the uh, development of aviation industry. By that also, we further believe that while having encouraging policies and support, governmental support on the development path of the economy as such, and a strong advancing and opening up going to smooth our operations and will generate confidence and space for other foreign companies like Airbus to further invest and develop in China. According to China's 14th five-year plan from 2021 to 2025, the country's civil aviation sector would handle 930 million passenger trips and 9.5 million tons of cargo and the parcels annually by 2025. The plan started, countries and the regions linked to China via air routes will exceed 70 by 2025 and more than 50 of them will be partners under the Belt and Road Initiative. Airbus has a great potential in China and what's our goal in, in, the, in the future? Yes, today. China is the largest single market country for Airbus. Around about 20% of all produced Airbus aircraft go to this market. The fleet size in China globally is around about 3,900 aircraft. Taking into consideration the fact that the Chinese aviation industry grows by 5.3% per year versus a global growth of 3.6%, it can be predicted that by 2030, China will be world largest commercial aircraft market. Airbus will continue to enhance and expand its cooperation with Chinese partners while upholding a local for local strategy to build a vertical integrated supply chain in China. In 2022, for example, we account, uh, recruited nearly 340 people, which makes around about 17% of all Airbus China's employees. We will continue to welcome experienced professionals, but also newly graduated in the coming years. As for the next step this year, with a booming demand for air transportation globally, Airbus will focus on its ramp up. And China will no doubt become an indispensable contributor to this process as such. Airbus is dedicated to cooperating with our Chinese partners to promote a high quality development of Chinese aviation industry. Thank you, Dr. Schramp. My Thank pleasure. You. You're always so welcome to visit us again. Thank you so much. As Airbus and China deep co cooperation, the both will meet more opportunity. That's all for today's Xinhua Live. Thanks for watching. See you next time.